So one of the new tools that Microsoft has put out for system admin is the Windows Admin Center. This is a web-based tool that will allow you to admin multiple systems simultaneously. It's kind of cool. Um, there's some great possibilities with it. It is, in my opinion, not completely fully mature yet, but Microsoft has been working on it and developing it and adding quite a bit to it. So it looks like this is something they're really trying to push. In fact, when you open up Server Manager now on a new install, you'll get a pop-up that says, hey, try out Windows Admin Center. And you can click a box to make that go away, but they are really trying to push it. So Windows Admin Center can be installed in a couple of different ways. You can install it as a gateway server on one of your servers. And it's a web-based tool, right? So the idea of installing it as a gateway on a server is then all of your admins, sysadmins, can point their web browser to that gateway server. And from that gateway server, they'll be able to log in and then manage all of the servers that are linked to that Windows Admin Center. The other possibility is you can install it on your PC. And if you install it on your PC, then you link it to the servers or workstations, which is the other cool thing about Windows Admin Center, that you want to review an admin and you can do it from your workstation. And that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna start by opening up Firefox and drag it over to the right monitor. And I'm going to search for the Windows Admin Center. Okay, and here's my Windows Admin Center or my Windows Admin Center download. Either way, I go to my Windows Admin Center at Microsoft and I can download. So I've already downloaded the file. It's right here. It's an MSI file. So I'm going to double click on my Windows Admin Center and we're going to install it here on my PC. Let me drag this over. Okay, welcome to the Windows Admin Center Setup Wizard. Life is good. I accept these terms. And next. So what do we want it to send to Microsoft? Nothing, but that's not an option. So we're going to leave just the required stuff. And here is my a little bit of information about it. I can install Windows uh, on a server to enable access for uh, multiple admins, connect to any PC with a remote a supported browser and manage computers on a private network. And here's my installation scenarios. I'm gonna go ahead, this enables you, this is what I'm doing right here, this enables you to manage computers directly from this PC using a web browser. So I'm gonna do that, set up the port for it, 6516, I'm good with that, and install. And so this is gonna run my installation for me. Pretty straightforward installation. Once it actually, you know, starts moving, it's a pretty straightforward installation. Yes, make changes to my computer, and here we go. It took it a second to get started, but now we're cruising right along. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to. I'm going to pause the video while we let this do its thing, and when we get it done, I'm going to go ahead and resume the video, and we'll pick it up from that point. Okay, so it just popped up one more thing for me to address as we are finishing our installation. One more thing. The first time you open Windows Admin Center, you'll have to select a certificate. Be sure to select the Windows Admin Center client. Uh, client. This generated a self-signed certificate for us. So I'm going to go ahead and open a window, the Windows Admin Center and click Finish. And so this should pop up for me. There we go. And we're going to use the Windows Admin Center client. So, okay. Now, this loads our Windows Admin Center. Successfully installed. Okay, life's great. Now, at this point, I am adminning. Yes, I know. Oh, my gosh. Go ahead and do our updates. Update our extensions. Okay. Well, that's busy. Now we can actually look at this and talk about what's going on. So here's my computer. So it's a Windows PC, last connected and ever I'm managing as. Here's Azure Arc. Here's all of my extensions updating. Okay, let me collapse some of those. And then I can set tags on my devices. And okay, so I can add another device to manage from here. Now remember, I am doing this from my local machine, okay? Thank you. Everything's updated. Back to this. So I'm doing this from my local machine. So I can access my local machine and I can connect to my local machine. That's going to update this last connected never. 
And this is going to give me an overview of my machine as it starts pulling data. The computer name, the domain, how much memory I have, logical processors, some monitoring information. I can look up my machine settings from here. So some of them. So uh, file shares, environment variables, power configuration, remote desktop, role-based access control, Hyper-V settings. And then down here are a bunch of administrative tools that I have. Apps and features, Azure Monitor, certificates, devices, events, firewall, local users, and groups. And you can see that we've moved, or Microsoft has moved a lot of our admin into here. Here are a bunch of virtual machines that I have. As it comes up, I've got several of them, so it might take it a second. Here's some virtual switches that I have going. Here's one of my virtual machines that's currently active. So it gives me a lot of things I can do for my computer management. Server manager doesn't really matter because I don't have any servers here. So if I want to, let me go back to computer management or all connections will show me everything. And then clusters if I'm managing clusters as well. Okay, if I want to add another device, that would be here. So I can click on add and then I can search for a computer name, uh, import from a list or search active directory. So the idea here is I can add more devices, and as I add these devices, I will need to make sure that I'm managing them as somebody who has permissions to manage them. But when I do, then they'll pop up here, and I will be able to manage them as well. And all of it by just opening up, let me go ahead and close this, all of that just by opening up the Windows Admin Center which is now right here, my Windows Admin Center application. Put it on the right screen. There we go. Okay, there we are. We have, move that tab back over here. Uh, there we have Windows Admin Center and a little idea of what it can do. So the installation, straightforward, easy to work with. It does give us a fair amount of configuration options. It doesn't allow us to do everything yet, so it can't completely replace all your other admin tools, but it is a very, very useful, very powerful tool for managing both PCs and, uh, and servers. Okay. There's your introduction to the Windows Admin Center.